You guys know I love my girl Matilda and it's one of Lori's favorite animals on the planet. We noticed the other day that she has a little bit of a leg issue, right? Where it's when she's crawling, she's just kind of dragging her back leg a little bit, which is definitely not what we want to see. So I'm going to go ahead and call my friend Chris and Casey from Garden State Tortoise and just ask them what we should do about it. So my it. buddy Chris from Garden State Tortoise, and he's obviously an expert. I'm going to put a link in the description to all his stuff. You can go watch all kinds of great content over there. So Chris, obviously I sent you the video of Matilda. So uh, what, what's your thoughts? So I think what's going on here and you know you guys know casey my wife she worked with the big tortoises in some professional facility and what you're seeing is actually pretty common so what happens is these big tortoises the objective is for them to get out of that really fragile size to as big as possible as quickly as possible they're growing fast and then but in a captive setting they're not able to it's almost as if the muscle doesn't catch up with the rest of the body because the shell is growing fast the animal is getting bigger basically they start becoming atrophy this occurring in the back legs is something that casey has seen often uh, in the past and something that a lot of giant tortoise keepers will may experience uh at some point during the animal's life now everybody sees matilda as this huge tortoise but she's not old by any means she is still growing there's a lot of size that still has to be put on it's kind of attraction issue it's like it's two parts it's she is growing fast and she's also getting atrophy so one of the things you can do is start making her basically exercise nobody hands them the food in the wild they have to look for it and they're not always eating off the ground they're eating up high i know you guys hang food for matilda which great but what would be great is if you can get her onto something that she can have more traction on like a lawn and then start making her come to you for food now this might mean you have to start offering things that are not necessarily the best food items you know maybe you want to grab a slice of watermelon or some strawberries or even a banana and then she'll start coming to you you know it may take a little while because everything happens slow with these animals but eventually the atrophy will go away the muscle mass will build back up and she'll be able to stand up correctly. Well, I'm going to take her home into our yard so she can crawl around and she can eat grass and graze, but also we'll give her, so that's great advice. We'll give her treats every now and then and make her walk around yeah. and stuff like that and we'll keep a close eye on her. I think that if we do all that, you think that we should be okay? She should come back around? Yeah, I do. Another question I want to make is she pooping? Yeah, she's, trust me, she's pooping. She's, she, she's pooping for sure. There's no blockage there. Yeah. So that's, that's like your number one, like you didn't, you didn't want to hear that that was going. But dude, thank you so much for your advice. I'll keep you posted, all right? All right man, anytime. All right, talk to you soon. Chris and Casey said that the best thing we could do is actually get her outside probably for a month or two. Having some different textures for her to crawl around on. Get more UV light. So on like that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take her home with us. That's right. I'm actually kind of excited about it. As much as it stinks that she won't be at the Reptarium because people absolutely love her to death, I think a little time outside in the backyard is going to do her really good. She's going to have grass. She's going to have places to climb. She's going to have water. She's going to have the natural, you know, whatever is going on, whether it's rain or sun or whatever the case may be. And I think that just a month or two there, she's going to be able to correct that build those muscles up a little bit because they just basically said this floor is a little bit slick and she might be slipping and just having a problem getting her footing underneath her. that's why across the street the entire bottom of the enclosure is going to be cement kind of curving around and stuff like that that she can grab onto really good plus climb a lot more that's why we have things like this in here is for her to climb on. and i think that's really important because you don't want a flat surface because they're so heavy right but now that she's getting as big as she is she's just probably having a little bit harder time walking on this surface so mike and myself are going to load matilda up in the back of the vehicle take her to our house for a month or so she's gonna spend time, maybe even a couple months spend time in my backyard which is awesome to me because every day I can come home I can see my girl walking around and hopefully her legs will start to gain some strength and she'll get back to her normal self they seem to think everything would be okay I pray it will because we love her to death the other thing they suggest us do is to dremel down the back nails a little bit you can see they're pretty long so we want to get these down another maybe quarter inch or something like that so we're just gonna go ahead and just grind these down burnt carriage it smells amazing Yeah, not so easy doing this to a tortoise that weighs about 170 pounds. I mean, she is a beast. She's got so much strength, but uh, hopefully that'll help her legs as well. Like I said, I think when we get her out in the grass, she's got a lot of area to climb around and get lots and lots of exercise. Uh, I think she'll come around. It might take her a month or so to build all those muscles back. I think that's the right way to go. Let's get her to the house. But before we lift that heavy tortoise into the back of our vehicle, I see that Ivy actually shed out. It looks good. Look at how long this shed is. It's absolutely ridiculous. There's no doubt Ivy is getting big. Goes all the way over here. Look at this. This is crazy. Could you imagine being in the Amazon and coming across this shed? You're like, oh my God, there's a snake this size that lives out here. Absolutely ridiculous. I love it. And Ivy looks great after she sheds too. She looks absolutely wonderful. I have to get this wrapped around this tree right here. And there's her shed. That's incredible. That's a lot of shed for a snake. There's no doubt about so it. So let's go ahead, get me and Mike and load up 
a heavy tortoise into the back of Lori's vehicle. Let's hope it doesn't pee or poop back there. Ew, I can't believe you did it to my car. You didn't even lay a blanket down? Oh, that's gonna be a big problem for sure. But we get Matilda in and let her wander around. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Okay, you ready? Nope. Oh, she's happy. Yes, sir. Up you go. Keep moving. Ah. That's a big turtle. Gonna have to upgrade vehicles next time as she gets bigger. Can you imagine when she's like 400 pounds? Oh my gosh. Let's get some on. All right, let's get going. You know, whenever any animal of ours is suffering for whatever reason, you know, in this case, I'm not really sure what caused Matilda to have the leg issues, but you know, it certainly is a bother to me. And, and again, Lori loves that animal so much. And you know, these guys can live 200 plus years. So we want her to have the best life she possibly can. So we have to resolve this issue. And hopefully it's just a matter of moving her outside, let her walk around on kind of more soft ground where she can get really good traction, building up her muscles back. Plus the UV is gonna help her with the sunlight. There's no doubt about it. Not to mention the variety of food with her grazing all the time on the grass. I hope in the next month or so we'll see a dramatic improvement with Matilda, but you know, I would do anything for my animals. Uh, I'm so definitely a little bit bummed out. I'm definitely a little bit stressed nothing out. Nothing can happen to this girl because we love her absolutely so much. We'll get her home and, and keep an eye on her every day and just uh, hope for we the best. We actually took this very vehicle to pick Matilda up about four years ago. It was in Cleveland, so it's about a three and a half, almost four hour drive. She was a lot smaller at that point, probably you know, about 60 pounds, something on that line. Five minutes into the drive, she pooped everywhere in the back. I mean, completely everywhere. It smelled like a horse was in the back of our vehicle and it was in the winter time. So we couldn't roll down the windows and for a almost four hour drive, Laura and I had to just smell this unbelievable poop smell that was all over the place. By the time we got home, it was she was cased in it because she had just been walking around in the back. The entire back of the vehicle was disgusting. It took us like an hour, hour and a half to clean the car up and then we had to give her a, a complete wash down. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll uh, put a card right up here when we got her. Uh, it's absolutely hilarious. I can't believe how big she's got. But Thankfully, so far, no poop in the back. Oh, uh, guys, uh, I don't even know how I'm gonna break this to Lori. This is bad. Poop all over the place. Thankfully, so far, no poop in the back. Uh, let's go ahead and get her into the backyard. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ah, Matilda, you are so heavy. So she's gonna have an opportunity again to be in this whole backyard. She's gonna be grazing, which she's already starting to, which is really cool. She's gonna walk around. She can actually even go over by the pond and get some drinks and stuff like that. She's not gonna fall in. I'm not worried about that at all. Speedy's kind of a jerk, and he used to fight with Matilda, and Speedy has the whole backyard. He does have his pen, but he roams the backyard almost all the time. And, of course, we don't have a decent-sized tortoise at the Reptarium, so unfortunately, Speedy's vacation in our backyard is gonna get cut short. We're gonna get Speedy, and we're gonna take him back to the Reptarium. He's right over there looking at us. <laughs> and you can see already Matilda settling in. She's got a whole mouthful of grass. She's like, oh my God, this grass is good. She'll just mow this entire grass down this rest of the summer. So she's going to love it. I love the fact that she's eating. And the fact that Chris actually asked about Matilda pooping, that's the big thing. If she was constipated, that would be a problem. Obviously, in the back of the vehicle, we see that she pooped. We know that she's not constipated. So I think that, you know, within a month or two of her being outside, she's going to be able to get, gain that strength of that atrophy problem. And again, when we build the new enclosure, more space. Again, we let her crawl around the Reptarium all the time, but it's slick. It's a little bit slippery, so it's probably not that good for her. Her new enclosure is going to have a lot more space for her to crawl. It's going to have a water feature, as well as the fact that we'll do cement on the ground where it's all like texture, where she actually will be able to do it. And she's already settling <laughs> big mouthfuls of grass already. She's going to love it back here. I can't wait to come home later on tonight. Get out here by the aquascape pond that we have over here and just enjoy Matilda walking around. You're a good girl. You're going to have a great time here, girl. Wow, guys, look who it is. These are old BHP buddy Speedy. Not that nice to me? It's all right. I miss you sometimes. I don't really have to clean up after, so it's kind of nice. It looks like Speedy is getting some more and more weight to it. I mean, I noticed him across the backyard, so that's pretty impressive. Wow, dude. You're getting thick. Still the same old Speedy I remember. Yeah, I cleaned up the best I can, but uh, I'll leave the rest to Lori. Oh, yeah, he definitely put on a couple of LBs. <laughs> definitely, yeah, so I feel so bad. He's back here so much, but I know he's going to fight with Matilda. He's going to be a jerk, and there's nothing we can do. Plus, we want to have a nice, decent-sized tortoise back at the Reptarium that people can feed and interact with, and Speedy is great for that. And he gets along with the leopard tortoises, weirdly enough. They used to all be together before we got Matilda. Back to the Reptarium. Come on, buddy. Ah. Wow. Yeah, definitely put on a couple of LBs, that's for sure. What's up, dude? Dude, we got oh, you're a little... Uh, oh, it smells like a barn back here, huh? Till this at Bryce guy's house. And Bryce's guy's is... Bryce's guy's. And it, it smells like... A barn. Cool. It smells like a barn in here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a weird life. Dude, this is a crazy day. I tell you what, tortoises, you know? Matilda pooped on the way there, Speedy pooped on the way back. Glad that we're using Lori's vehicle. <laughs> I don't think she is. Sorry, Lori. We got Speedy. What are we gonna do? You're 
you're gonna get that clean. I'm not driving that car. Mike? You wanna grab the tourists? Yeah. Is that it awesome? smells. Grab the tourists and then you it can- It smells really bad. And then uh, you can clean that. No. Absolutely not. Oh my God, there's so much. That's not cool. My fingers are in it. Ew, I can't believe you did that to my car. You didn't even lay a blanket down? And think about it, that would have been smart. You are cleaning this up and I am not driving it until it's been detailed. I'll call her an Uber later. Woo. We may have said Lori was gonna clean it, but I kind of figured there's no way that was happening. She yelled at me to go clean her car. So get all the big old turds out of here. I don't I don't have carpet cleaner. Like I don't know what I'm gonna use on this. Just gonna rub it in with a dry paper towel, dude. That ain't coming up, dude. We need a better solution. What do I use? You think Bill and Sally have some carpet cleaner? Probably not, but we can go check. Hey Sally, quick question for you. Some, Hi, uh, Hi Sally, how are you today? Hi Jake. Hi. I'm better than Lori is. Um, Lori, you okay? Yeah, there's just a bunch of tortoise poop in the back of the car. <laughs> Do you have like a carpet cleaner for car? Carpet cleaner? Yeah, or like some kind of carpet. Do not have carpet cleaner? No carpet cleaner at Bill and Sally's place. But, do we have any? We have carpets up front. Oh, now you're thinking. Lori? Do we have some carpet cleaner here somewhere? Because they don't next door. Why would I? I figured we have all this nice carpet. See how nice this carpet looks? Not very good. Oh. I can't. I can't either. I what? Can't. <laughs> he just freaking left. He took his truck. I know. I know he did. I bet Ace has it. Let's go to Ace. I'll go. Okay. We can go. Yeah. We'll run over there. Yeah. We're going. We're gonna walk over to Ace. Hopefully they got some. Uh, Carpet cleaner that doesn't need a vacuum because I don't have a carpet vacuum cleaner. Which one should we get? The Oxy pre -treatment? Probably the pet stain and odor. Do we get the gallon or something? <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a bit. No, that should be fine. I think this should be fine. Cookies and cream ice cream cone? Should I, should I get a lot? <laughs> Do you have any sweats, Kaido, number? Uh, no, it's fine. Tyler, you Time to go clean some tortoise poop. But you think that with all the times we take animals to different places and carpets and stuff, you probably just keep this at the shop. But I'm not a genius. Got Animal Con with next month. Probably take some carpet cleaner with us just in case. Animal Con, September 15th, 16th, and 17th. Orlando, Florida. Fry Guy's gonna be there. Lori's gonna be there. Steph's gonna be there. Mate. Jay, Jay, we're all gonna be there. Here's your tickets, guys. What are you waiting for? That's not Dairy Queen. I know, but it was there. It was right next to the counter. Oh, see, I picked the right one. <laughs> <laughs> Little treasy before the cleaning, you know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Oh, it already smells so much better. Don't mind me just making some balloon animals. <laughs> Why couldn't we made it like Tyler do this or something? Hey, GM, come clean tortoise crap. <laughs> That's what these are for. Cover the carpet. I have to go to the freaking farm store. How am I supposed to it do that? It smells like a farm. It's perfect. It's Bill. Bill, we need your help. This is Lori's car. She's pissed at us. Somebody puked? No, the tortoise pooped. Oh, tortoise? Oh, oh. Remember the big tortoise that we brought in the one time? Oh, my God. All right, well, I think that's about as much as I can do. I think we're going to have to get this professional clean and not my clean. Sorry, Lori. I guess I'll just leave you this stuff right here. Oops. Enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. He just freaking left. He took his truck. I know. I know he did.